Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello Pharma aspirants welcome or welcome back to GDC channel. In this video we will be learning about the mechanism of action of antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs are the drugs which are used in the treatment of viral infection. The viral infection is generally caused by virus which is a very tough structure to kill as it is a link between non-living and living organism. The virus has no cell wall, no cell membrane and no ribosome where most of the antibacterial drugs were acting. The virus has a protein coat, nucleic acid and a few enzymes for replication. So the option for antiviral drugs is to act on these organelles or in the cell protein coat nucleic acid or in the enzymes. The viral replication has a process. The first step is that the virus gets fused with the host cell membrane. Fusion, the first step is fusion of virus into the host. Suppose this is the host then the viral attaches and gets entry into the cell membrane or the in the host. Then after the fusion of virus in the host, it gets it uncoating. It removes its outer layer. After the uncoating, that is its outer layer is removed, the early protein synthesis occurs. Uh, in early, after early protein synthesis, in early protein synthesis, nucleic acids are prepared and when nucleic acids are prepared, then nucleic acid are synthesized. And after synthesis of nucleic acid, late protein synthesis and its processing is occurred. Then the virus package itself and its assembly and then virus are released outside the cell and causes infection the first step of fuse the first step was fusion of virus into the host second was uncoating then it was early protein synthesis after early protein synthesis the next step was nucleic acid synthesis and then late protein synthesis and after this release of virus a number of viruses are released that's all now the drugs which act on these it is the overview of drugs acting on the viral replication the first step was fusion of virus into host cell the drugs which acts on these it step is enviritide, docosanol and palivirzunab. These three drugs inhibit the entry or fusion of virus. After this, a uh, next step was uncoating. Uncoating is blocked by amantadine, remantadine which are used in influenza virus in case of after the early protein synthesis drug acting on nucleic acid synthesis is nrtis that is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and nnrtis non nucleosidase reverse transcriptase inhibitors acyclovir force carnate the drugs acting on late protein synthesis and processing are protease inhibitors used for HIV generally.
viral release is inhibited by neuraminidase inhibitors such as oseltamivir zanamivir the penetration of virus is blocked by interferon alpha in the cell membrane a ccr5 coreceptor is present which is blocked by meraviroc meraviroc is the drug which inhibits the ccr5 coreceptor drugs acting on antiviral sorry the drugs which acts on virus is first is fusion inhibitor and fluvi retired and fluvi retired docosanol docosanol these are the fusion inhibitors along with this the ccr5 receptor which was present in the cell membrane worm is blocked by meraviroc the drugs which acts on anti influenza virus are amantadine remantadine spelling is wrong here the t is present here and d is here amantadine remantadine anti herpes virus the drugs acting on herpes virus idoxyuridine acyclovir famicyclovir famciclovir foscarnate can ciclovir and last is well canis ciclovir well canis ciclovir and a drug fomivirzin the mechanism of action of these drugs the enfluorivitide and docosanol inhibits the viral fusion with host cell and antry meraviroc block the ccr5 chemokine receptor and interfere with the attachment of viral genome anti influenza drug virus remantadine and amantadine inhibits the uncoating of virus anti herpes virus drugs idoxyuridine acyclovir famicyclovir forscarnate ganisiclovir and velcanisiclovir inhibits the virus inhibits the herpes virus dna polymerase competitively it gets incorporated into the viral dna and stop the lengthening of dna strand the terminal dna inhibits the dna polymerase the main mechanism of action is that it inhibits the dna polymerase and inhibits the lengthening of dna strand fomivirzin inhibits the early protein synthesis some key points about some drugs the first one is idoxyuridine the first drug of anti herpes drug idoxyuridine is a thymidine analog thymidine analog and this drug is converted into idoxyuridine triphosphate after conversion of idoxyuridine triphosphate it competes with the thymidine this drugs compete with thymidine competes with thymidine and gets incorporated into the dna now when the idoxyuridine triphosphate is present in the dna a faulty dna will be formed that will break easily 
faulty DNA breaks easily and the synthesis the this DNA directs the synthesis of wrong viral protein then the DNA breaks the drug acyclovir acyclovir is deoxyguanosine anoline it is guanine analog similarly like edoxyuridine it is converted into acyclovir monophosphate and gets with the acyclovir triphosphate and inhibits the herpes viral by getting into the dna in spread of the guanine this was the mechanism of action of acyclovir and then famcyclovir is the ester prodrug of panicyclovir well cyclovir is the prodrug of acyclovir ganicyclovir it is the analog of acyclovir the drug force carnate it inhibits the viral inhibits the dna polymerase and reverts transcriptase this drug inhibits the dna polymerase and reverts transcriptase now let's move to the another drug class the drugs which belongs to antiretrovirus are nrii nnrti and protease inhibitor these are the drugs which acts against the retrovirus that is used in the treatment of hiv the first one is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor the drugs belonging to this category are zelcitabine abecavir lamivudin stavudine zidovudine didenosine these drugs inhibits the reverse transcriptase in the presence of cellular dna polymerase after the phosphorylation and an rti non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors the drug belonging to these categories are nevirapine nevirapine efivirazine efivirenz and dilaviridine dilaviridine the drugs belonging to class protease inhibitors are ritonavir nelfinavir nelfinavir indinavir amprinavir sacvinavir lopinavir atezavir atezanavir the drugs which are protease inhibitors have suffix navir now the nnrti acts by inhibiting the hiv reverse transcriptase without need of intracellular phosphorylation the protease inhibitors inhibit the enzyme protease and the protease enzyme is responsible for breakdown of polyprotein into various functional compounds or components some key points of these drugs first one is zidovudine zidovudine is thymidine analog thymidine analog 
zidovudin in the cell host cell is converted into zidovudin triphosphate by the presence of host cell kinetase and by the conversion of zidovudin triphosphate when the single strand single strand viral dna is converted into double strand viral dna by rna dependent dna polymerase also known as viral reverse transcriptase this thymidine analog zidovudin trans triphosphate inhibits this enzyme rna dependent dna polymerase polymerase also known as viral reverse transcriptase by this inhibition of enzyme single stranded viral dna is not converted into double strand dna the zidovudin is used as the monotherapy in aids and it also helps in prevention of hiv transmission from mother to the newborn baby the stavudin it is also stavudin is also thymidine analog and its mode of action is similar that of zidovudin next drug is lamivudin it inhibits the hiv trans hiv reverse transcriptase as well as hepatitis b virus dna polymerase didelosin this drug is purine analog purine analog the next class is nnrti and after this protease inhibitors protease acts as a last step in the hiv replication and inhibition of this enzyme is used in the treatment of hiv infection integrase inhibitor which is also antiretrovirus this includes reltrigravir reltrigravir and elvitigravir these drugs directly target the integrase enzyme an hiv enzyme that integrates the viral genetic material into human chromosome when this integrase enzyme is inhibited then the integration of viral genetic material into human chromosome is inhibited neuramidase inhibitor neuraminidase inhibitors are oseltamivir and zanamivir these two drugs acts by inhibiting the enzyme neuraminidase this enzyme is needed for the release of progeny virions from the infected cell that's all for the antiviral drugs thank you for watching this video